So here I'm going to show you how to use a VLOOKUP function on data that is on a hidden worksheet or tab. And there are a lot of reasons you may want to do this. Oftentimes, you don't want the end user to be able to see the raw data, or you don't want them to be able to very easily mess up, delete, change, or augment that data set. So this is going to give you a much cleaner looking workbook. You can see we've got some VLOOKUP functions right here. This is our lookup value, so what we're going to use to search the table. But down here, we only have one tab, employee lookup. So we can change this. And it will retrieve the data, but we can't see any of the raw data. Now this is actually very simple to do. Let's go ahead and unhide this tab. Simply right click the tabs down here. And towards the bottom of the menu that opens up here, you will see hide and unhide. If you have a tab hidden, hit unhide. This window will open up, select the worksheet, hit OK. And you can see our hidden worksheet. Now it's no longer hidden and you can see it's just a regular worksheet with our source data right here. So the VLOOKUPs are going to be the same as they always have been. Just equals VLOOKUP we select our lookup value or the cell that contains the value we're going to use to look up data, the ID number cell. Now we go to the tab that has our data, the tab that was hidden and that we are going to hide again. So we select employee data, select the table array, comma, now choose which column we want the data to come from. So this would be column two, the name column, comma, and then false because we want an exact match. Hit enter, and there we go. Now that's just a basic VLOOKUP across multiple worksheets. So not too complicated once you've got that down. The only thing we did different from looking up data on the same worksheet is when we go to the table array right here, notice that instead of just A2 to E11, we have the name of the worksheet with an exclamation point after it. Now all you have to do is to select the tab that has the data. So once you've correctly created all of your VLOOKUP functions, then go ahead and hide the source data tab. We right click the worksheet, go to hide, and you can no longer see the worksheet or tab. So that's how you can use the VLOOKUP on a hidden worksheet or tab. Now note that this isn't completely hidden. So if you give this workbook to someone, they're going to be able to unhide that tab and see the source data. But most people aren't going to go to that much trouble. However, if you do want to make it so that someone cannot unhide a worksheet by simply right-clicking down here, you can use VBA or a macro to do that. But that's for another tutorial. So that's all you have to do to use VLOOKUPs on data that's on hidden worksheets or tabs in Excel.